All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to smoke this big old bird right here, this chicken. And what I did, the only thing I did last night was I loosened up the skin. I rubbed it down real good with this Killer Hogs AP rub and I let it sit or brine, dry brine in the refrigerator all night. So now here it is, it's probably about one o'clock in the afternoon. And before I put it on the smoker, I'm gonna use this uh, Tony Chachery's Roasted Garlic and Herb. Tony Chachery's Roasted and uh, Garlic Herb injection. Uh, I did it on a turkey during Thanksgiving. It's really good. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's get ready to inject this bird and then we'll go out and put it on the smoker. All right, some of you uh, may already know how to inject a, a bird, but for those of you who don't, here's how you do it. I've got a uh, injector right here. I've got uh, some of that Tony Chachery's poured into a bowl. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw this stuff up in the syringe. Now what you wanna do on this thing is you wanna, you wanna push it in there, like right in the breast. You wanna, and you wanna just inject just a little bit and at the same time you wanna pull the syringe out. I'm sorry, the needle. You see that way you're filling up the cavity. You see how it's, I don't know if you can see how it squirts out. But I'm going to inject this in several different places. cut up an apple and some onion. I'm going to stuff it in the cavity of the chicken. So let's do that. All right. <clears throat> I've got the chicken injected. I've also tied it off. I've tied the legs off and I put a couple of toothpicks right here to hold the skin to make sure all the skin stays covered. So we're ready to put it on the smoker. We're supposed to get a snowstorm today. All right. We've got that lit and we're gonna let that go and we'll be back. It's cold out here, folks. Woo. We got the smoker going though. What I wanna do is try to keep the smoker around 250 to 300. I'm using a mixture of apple and hickory wood also. We're looking at an internal temperature of 165 to 170 on the bird. So that's it folks. I haven't put the bird on yet. I'm getting ready to. I'm just waiting for the temperature to come up a little bit. I clean my grate and we'll slap her on there in just a second. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Woo, the smoke. <laughs> oh lordy. Okay. We'll go put this bird on here. Just like that. I've got a mixture of Frank's hot sauce and vinegar. I like to spray on that thing. And I'll probably spray it about every 30 minutes or, or so. I've got a few extra pieces of onion I'm gonna stick on here. Stick in between the wings and all that stuff. Yeah. Just can't go wrong with onion fruit. Okay, so we got it on there. Woo, that's smoke. <laughs> and we'll... Oh, I about forgot. Gotta stick the temperature probe in there. And I'm gonna stick it right about here in the breast. All right, we're all set. Man, excuse me. So we'll just come back out and check it in about an hour. 
All right, y'all. It's, it's probably been about 45 minutes into the cook, and uh, the bird's looking fairly nice. I'm going to spritz it with some of this Frank's hot sauce and vinegar. And uh, it, it could snow any minute now. You know, they're calling for snow here in North Carolina, and we're right at the foothills of the uh, Blue Ridge Mountains. And you know how it gets when it's going to snow? It's real cloudy, and it's real quiet out here. And that's the way it is today. All right, so we've got that spritzed really well. And we're going to leave it in there probably, we'll check it in about another hour. And we'll be back. All right, y'all. It's been almost two hours since I spritzed it last time. It's looking really good. The, temp the internal temperature of the chicken is running about 145, so we still have a little bit more time to go, but I'm, I'm gonna spritz it again. And, and then we'll, we'll leave it for probably another hour, and then we'll come back and check on it. Or, it depends on what the thermometer reads. All right, folks, it's been probably, let's see, about another hour. And this thing's looking really good. I'm gonna spritz it again. 149, 150. Eh, it's not quite 165 yet. It's getting there though. Let's check it there. Okay. It's really looking good though. Let's spritz it some more. Can't spritz it enough. All right, here we have it. This cook took about three and a half hours. Hmm, looks pretty good. It sure does. Look at that. Nice and juicy. And we're gonna do a taste test. Mmm, it's very good. Nice and moist, tender. You can taste the uh, garlic and the butter from that uh, Tony Chachery's injection and the smoky flavor from the wood and charcoal. It's very good. But listen y'all, we're gonna make us a little side, some quinoa and some broccoli. And I eat this delicious chicken. Uh, I want to thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button down below. And if you like the video, click the thumbs up. And remember, folks, don't take this day for granted. Because when it's gone, it's gone. Thanks again. God bless y'all.